Hey there guys, Crossflex here, and welcome back to Let's Play Owlboy. In the last episode, we figured out from Alphonse that we need to head to the floating continent uh, before the rest of the pirates do, because they're looking for a relic that's there, and if they get their hands on it, that's kind of it. Game over. So, in today's episode, we're going to start things off by just kind of shooting the breeze with everyone, seeing what we can learn about the world. So let's find out what we can do about the relics. I don't remember much about the relics' origin. I know that they were made by the ancient owls, and that they contain extraordinary power, as you've seen. I would guess that Dirk will be the one looking for the relic in the floating continent. Most of the other pirates are not independent enough for missions like these. They were not made to improvise. And the captain usually does not do work he considers beneath him. Good. If we see that guy again, I'll give him a piece of my mind. As you say. Anything else you want to talk about? The floating continent. Yes, what's the deal with that? I've never been there before. You know anything about it, Alphonse? I was there long ago. You mean months ago? Years ago? Hmm. I think it would have been eight, maybe nine centuries ago. Whoa, okay, centuries! You're that old, Alphonse? Older. But the farther back, I think, unless I remember. I remember hearing talk of a great machine built on the continent. A machine built by the owls further back than I can recall. These days, the floating continent is half overgrown with plants and half submerged in lava. Uh, how does that happen? Is it so big that it has its own core, or... What? Terrifying, inhospitable place, full of beasts and pitfalls. A good place for adventurers such as ourselves to prove our mettle. Tally ho! Um, yeah. Uh, Getty doesn't seem so enthused about that. I gotta admit, it does sound pretty dangerous. Yeah, so what's up with that cloaked weirdo we met at the Owl Temple? Uh, Alphonse, I don't think, saw him, but we could probably explain it to him. Cloaked weirdo, who is this you're talking about, Master Yeti? There's a strange guy outside the Owl Temple when he got there. He was reciting some book. Do you remember what he said? Let's see, uh, he said, The Owl Temple, first of the great temples. Here the owls learned how to control the elements and challenge the natural order. By the end of the first eon, they had mastered water, fire, and wind. And their work here revealed to them the existence of the higher mysteries. So says the Book of Nocte. Wow, Getty has quite the memory on him. Impressive recollection, Master Getty. Does it mean anything to you, Alphonse? I have heard of this Nocte long ago. I think perhaps I have read the book he speaks of. But it's strange. It ends very abruptly. I seem to recall that there was more about these higher mysteries. Oh, you don't want to explain more about that? Eh, I guess not. Probably can't get too much backstory and stuff all at once. Yes, but I definitely want to learn more about Alphonse. Tell you about myself. What do you want to know? I don't know. Anything? Well, I've always wanted to be a dramatic actor. I wanted to all the world's finest from a stage. Under Molstrom, I wasn't allowed to. But when we have saved the world from the pirate threat, I hope to pursue that calling. Huh, that's surprising. You were created as a servant for the Owls, weren't you? Were you made for acting? Combat was never my specialty. I much prefer acting and cooking. In fact, I was made to serve in whatever manner I thought best. Not all pirates were as fortunate as I. I am just grateful that I found a more worthy master to serve. One who works for good. Aww. So cool. But I think those are the four options that uh, are available to us. So, I guess that's probably it. Yeah. Time for sleepy bye. Good idea, ambushed. Let's continue our journey tomorrow, shall we? Indeed we shall. We're in desperate need of that after all the trauma we've been through lately. Alright. Well, one more uh, thing up our sleeve. I'm going to check and see if Buccaneary has anything for us. Ow. Ow. Okay. Where is Buccaneary? Where are you? Uh, oh, hey, it's these two. Hey there, Otis. I'm glad to see you made it out of Advent. We barely made it. 
Our squad leader didn't make it. Oh. Well, he was probably too busy not paying attention to anything. If it hadn't been for my injury, we would have been in there when... Oh, so technically her broken leg caused her to get caught, and we found her because of that. Thanks for your help in Advent Jungling. It's a shame that we couldn't. Okay. Uh, I guess she is pretty old. Alright, so, uh, yeah, seriously, where's Buccaneary's shop? I thought it was right around here somewhere. Oh, I found some more rings, but, uh, that doesn't really help me right offhand. Uh, this... Hmm. Buccaneary, do you smell like fruit? I need to find you. There you are. I knew I could find you. Just follow the fruit. Alright. Ah, happy music. I've been in desperate need for that. Welcome! Let's tally up that booty. You've collected 946 Buccaneary coins. Would you look at that? Time for another surprise! Uh, this next one isn't just cool, it's also very nice. You're gonna just love it! Yeah, when he gets here, right? <laughs> Give me a second here. Bogwin! Ugh! Trinket time? Trinket time. Here you go! Oh, cool. More alcohol. I assume. It's not explicitly stated. It's Buccaneary's nice soup candy. Oh, okay, cool. It's soup. Wrap your beak hole around that and tell me what you think. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Ooh. Definitely needed that extra health. Level up. Yes, no need to thank me. Just bring more booty. Cool, alright, so how many coins do I need? A thousand? Okay, I'm actually really close to uh, getting another trinket. I wonder if I'll be able to find that soon. But, probably won't be able to find it here in Tropo, so I'll probably have to head straight into the floating continent before I'll be able to reach that. Alright, so, heading upwards, because I believe that's where we needed to go. Okay, yep, Tropos is, or Stratos is definitely up here. Okay, um... Now that we have Alphonse in our party, this is fire. This fire does. He does fire. Cool. Alright. Now we're in Strato already. Okay. I wonder what's over here. Uh, waterfall? Ooh. Uh, yeah. I don't think I'm going to be able to reach that. Probably not. Okay. That's probably maybe something we do later on? I don't know. I would assume so. Okay, uh, can, can I blow up? Ow! Okay, so maybe not the dark green ones. Those ones seem to be impervious. <laughs> this whole area uh, reminds me of uh, the bramble levels in DKC. Alright, oh, chest, chest, any coins? Am I gonna get enough for a thousand? <gasps> oh, that was close. Not quite. Okay, sign. Let's get uh, oriented here. Up, floating continent, down, trump. Well, that wasn't very helpful. I knew that. Gosh, come on, game. Help me out here. Okay, very foggy. I like that fog effect. I don't like taking a lot of damage, though. Alright, doesn't look like there's really anywhere to go down there. So, let's continue heading upwards. Alright, Alphonse. Blow that up. Man, I'm never going to get tired of shooting that shotgun of his. That just... You can just feel the power of that thing. Help! Anyone! I'm totally stuck down here! Oh, let's throw Alphonse real quick. Grab this fruit. Oh, happy day! Oh, come on, I was about to eat some fruit, dude. Mister, are you here to save me? I've been stuck down here for ages. I'm so hungry. I was just about to eat my own feet. Well, that wouldn't be much of a meal. You have stubs for feet. Hey there, fella. Wow! Did you just get teleported? Um, yeah, <laughs> I did actually. Guess I'm getting kind of used to it now. Wow, I wish I could teleport. I'd never be stuck again. Whoosh! That's what it would sound like. Actually, that is pretty close to what it sounds like. That's great. I'd even be able to teleport away from Buccaneary's punch. I mean, uh, <laughs> I'd be able to return to Buccaneary's right away. Yep, that's where I want to be. Okay, so should we help you out of here, or...? Yes, please. Alright, Otis, you're the carrying expert around here. I'll leave this one to you. Yeah, smile. 
Bye bye, teleporting man. Wait a second, how does uh, Otis teleport people? Can he just teleport anyone that he wants, or do they have to be connected to him somehow? If so, then why not uh, connect the teleporting device to uh, this printy guy here, or Bogwin, I think, or what they're called. So if that's the case, then yeah, just teleport him around there. Wow, mister, thanks so much. I could totally make it from here. I'll be hanging outside Buccaneers with my bros. Come visit us soon, why don't you? Yeah, sure, why not? I see spiny fruit, and I want more fruit. Munch. Uh, oh, hello, enemies, enemies. Uh, Getty, come to me. Kill the enemies, kill the enemies. It was really quiet, so I wasn't expecting to find an enemy here right away. Okay, but uh, I think this is where I came from, right? Yeah, it totally was. Alright, Alphonse, help me out here. I am in need of your firepower. Okay. Uh, let me read this sign here real quick. Oh, floating con- Okay, same kind of sign, huh? That's not very helpful. Okay, what about this sign? Is this one gonna help me? Oh, come on, now you're just trolling me. Okay, more rings, more spines. I'm just gonna ignore the enemies if I can. I'd rather not, uh, kill unless my hand is forced. Uh, what was that? Uh, okay. Let's eat more fruit. Mmm. Okay, seriously, what are those things? Okay, do I need them for something, or what? Well, they certainly don't like me. Up, up, up! It's like I'm playing eels and escalators. Okay, those things are quite annoying. Come to me, Alphonse. Blow them up, blow them up, blow them up! Okay. Alright, charge. Oh, okay, never mind. I don't need my farms. I can blow them up myself. Blow them up, blow them up, blow them up. Alright, Alphonse. Just make it quick. Oh, come on. I totally hit the, the button. I'm about to die just to common enemies. Uh, I should probably go back down here and get that one piece of fruit that I saw. I don't know if there's going to be any more fruit nearby, and I'd rather not risk it. Okay. Still not much, but... Maybe it'll give me just enough leeway to make it through to somewhere safe. Come to me, Getty. I need you. I need you, Alphonse. Blow them up. Ow. Uh, sorry, I'm a little quiet, guys. I'm trying to not die here. Give me more fruit. Munch, 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 munch. More fruit, more fruit. I'm not going to go that way just yet. I'm going to see what's over here first. Ooh, I kind of like this grass. Uh, something gives me the idea that it's probably not going to be very good. Okay, I can definitely kill it. I don't know if I should, though. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, I really like that wind effect. Hmm. I'm just going to ignore those for now. Wow, uh, okay. I get, I get poisoned, I guess? And then I die. Okay. That's reasonable. Hmm. Okay. I don't know if I should continue in that area or if I should just continue heading to the right. I guess I'll come over here for now. See if I can actually make it through here this time. I'll just be more careful about the puffballs. Try and uh, slowly take my time here. Okay. 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 Come to me, Alphonse. Ow, 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 the poison, the poison, the poison. Oh my goodness, this place is so dangerous. Oh, there's so many of these things. How do I get, how do I get through here? Alphonse! Okay, I think maybe I'm not going to go through here. At least not until I have more health under my belt. Because, I mean, I feel like I probably could get through there. But at the same time, it's probably going to take me way too many tries, and I'd rather not waste the episode. So, I'll come through here first. Alright, anything over here? Are there any coins? I haven't seen any coins around here outside of the coupon rings. Okay. Uh, what's that? Is that torch thing? Okay. Okay, I can uh, burn these grasses up. Duh, I knew that. I've had to burn stuff before. 
very quiet and windy. Uh oh, it's that guy again. The floating continent, greatest of the owl homes. The machines produced here were the finest the world has ever seen. For the first time, owl technology surpassed the capabilities of life itself. There seemed to be no end to the heights owls could reach. So says the Book of Nocte. Okay, so if the owls were so great, why did they die out? Tell me that. They probably got too cocky, and they probably had machines or something revolt against them. Or it could have been like the Chozo. Maybe they were so exposed to like elements and surpassed their life expectancies to the point where they all went sterile, and then they couldn't reproduce anymore. I wonder if I have chosen the right path. Hmm, very mysterious. Was that an acquaintance of yours? Nope. He sure knows his owl history, though. And it seems that he's following us. If he's got anything to do with the attack on Advent, I'll make him pay. Next time, let's grab him. Hmm, well, we can certainly try. It looks like he can teleport, though. But our most important task is to get to that last relic before Molstrom does. <laughs> Indeed. So, let's uh, head out there. Can... Uh, okay, chain... Getty? Okay, Getty's thing does it, but Alphonse's shotgun doesn't. How quaint. Well, at least we made it through it all. Okay. Very tribal sounding. Okay. Uh, Alphonse? No. Okay, uh, what do I do? So? Uh, let's see. Um, hmm. Can Alphonse burn something? No. Oh, okay, I lit that torch up right. Okay, that's weird. I thought it was lit already, so I didn't try that sooner. Okay, but I guess it was just like coals that were barely lit or something. Okay, guys, I'm not a huge fan of dark caves, and I've heard meat-eating gnats thrive in these parts. Then, if you've heard this before, Getty, then why did you make such a big deal about not knowing anything about the floating continent? But it's the only way forward. I'll stand ready with my musket, Master Gibby. It's not much, but it may provide us some light. Thanks, Alphonse. That'll have to do. Alright, are those the nets? Uh, uh, hmm. Okay, Alphonse, come to me. Okay, so, so yeah, his torch uh, does give us a tiny bit of light, but that's really not much. Hmm. Kind of reminds me of some of those areas from uh, uh, Crash Bandicoot 3. But I want some fruit. Ooh, that fruit! Oh, cool! I'm like, I'm lit up. That's actually really cool. Gives me a little bit of extra light. Still not much. Uh, what was that? Uh, okay, it's a falling boulder. Okay, well, I'm gonna head through here first. Alphonse is a little too big to be carried. I should probably eat another one of these. I have a feeling it might expire. Okay. Weird snake things. Not a big fan. Okay, there's another one. Oh, okay, I didn't see that one. Okay. There's another one. Okay, apparently I can't hurt it. I might be able to hurt it, just not as Otis. I might have to shoot it with Getty or Alphonse. Alright, let's eat some more fruit. Okay, good. At least these heal me, too. That's definitely a relief. I could use that. Okay. Sounds are picking up, so it sounds like there might be some more boulders around here. Okay, now the torch. Come to me, Alphonse. Let's light it and see what happens. Okay. Ooh, finally, some more rings. I've been in need of some coins. Alright, well, guys... Even though we just arrived here, I think I'm going to go ahead and have to call the episode because we're kind of out of time. So, really appreciate you guys checking in, just as always. Remember to have a blessed day, and I will see you in the next one.